After the first two months of school, I was exhausted. Really surprised me how fast that happened. The first part of October, I was actively trying to recuperate and regain energy. I wasn't even halfway through the semester. <laughs> So I'd do things like this. I took walks as often as I could and I'd stop by my favorite neighborhood cafe for a coffee and I'd bring my notebook to work on something but like, you know, in a chill environment. And this was when I was non set all weekend, which was like forty percent of the time. I've been told that burnout can really sneak up on people like me, people who love what they do and are so entrenched in it that you're working 24-7, burning the candle at both ends. You know that saying, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life? That's true, but this is the flip side. You work so much because you care so much. And like, I love filmmaking. I want to do a good job and I want to push myself. Every success is like an addiction. I want more. I need better. And the next one, the next thing has to be better. It's like this itch that I have to scratch. has come in foreign when I've turned on the heater because it is so cold <laughs> so cold it is the middle of November no it's the beginning of November it's 9 p.m. and I am finally doing laundry after not doing it for about two weeks because I just have not had time <laughs> we can't wear bikini bottoms as underwear anymore <laughs> Let it be known that I stayed up until 2 a.m. to do my laundry because this was the only time I could do it. Exercise? Because yeah. I always had it in my mind that if we do a split screen, they occupy an equal square on either side and so it's right. mirrored. Ooh, I didn't think of but that. But like my, my one thing with like the two one is that the wide, it's like it is between 185 and 24. Mm-hmm. In my case, I'm in an MFA film program. And not just any MFA film program, but the best one in the world. And I'm basically working around the clock. Because I love what I do, yes, but the program demands it. I like to think that, you know, in real life I take breaks <laughs> because I do love myself. The program is excessive. It is brutal. It's more work than any one human being can do in the time frame they give you. And, you know, everybody knows it. I'm pretty sure it's part of the strategy. But the thing that really, you know, turns up heat and fast tracks the burnout for me are the mind games that come with the physical and the creative work. That really takes it out of me. To get ahead of it, to identify it, to rise above it, to, like, reroute that energy into my work... <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Doing my best with that one. It's an ongoing effort. <laughs> 